Hello, I'm Emma reporting for Winkball. Today we're at the Barbican Centre to learn more about filmmaker John Akinfar's new installation. John's film Purple is a six channel video installation, multi um, channel, immersive soundscape. Um, I didn't actually pick um, the material, so John's known for kind of working um, in a way called montage, where he kind of selects, edits, and pieces uh, imagery together. And John loves to work with different types of imagery, so he works a lot with archive imagery. So in this particular film, we've got imagery from the BFI archives, the Natural History archives, and also his own archives. And then he kind of splices and choreographs that with new images that he's kind of shot in locations. So this particular film was shot over 10 countries, from Greenland, Arctic, the volcanic Marquesa Islands. And then he splices that with kind of archive footage right from the 40s right through to the present day. And the importance for um, John uh, in using montage as a way of kind of talking about his work is, is because because a singular kind of narrative doesn't necessarily work and juxtaposing different types of images means it kind of uncovers maybe hidden relationships that you might not have previously seen. I mean there's lots of kind of, it's called purple um, and purple I think was chosen by John because it's a kind of open-ended um, title and John's work is, is kind of open-ended, there's no kind of final bow or tied neatly um, but purple in West African cultures often kind of references mourning or death so in this particular context, it's looking about the death of our planet. And in these particular images, you'll see uh, references to kind of acid rain, carbon monoxide, uh, battery farming, how humans are basically, you know, destructing the world. And it's a commentary on how, how do we stop this? How can we take responsibility for us? Um, it's not a finger-wagging exercise. It's not telling us off, but it's just saying that we're all implicit and that we can all do something about it. And if we don't think about it, what's our future going to look like? Uh, sound is really important for John. Um, the sound and the imagery go hand in hand. And they've spent, you know, as with the imagery, thousands of hours of creating the sound composition. But it's a mixture of kind of sound from the archive imagery. There's kind of uh, recordings, someone's narrating, or there's pre-recorded sound and then ambient sound. It's all carefully layered to kind of really create this emotive kind of narrative to the piece. It has this really haunting quality to it and it really kind of drives home, I think, the imagery that you're looking at, that something is urgent is happening. This installation is immersive and truly inspires change. It runs until the 8th of January 2018 and is free for admission. I've been Emma reporting for Winkball. Thanks for watching.